first award was um, Jack Petty Achievement Award, actually. And now I've gone on to win Commonwealth Bronze and um, hopefully next year go into the Olympic Games. So, um, yeah, I've really come on. It recognises achievements that wouldn't normally be noticed and that are maybe not academic, and, but they still involve hard work. You can award them for their social responsibility, for entrepreneurship, for academic achievement, or sometimes just for those small personal achievements that really go unnoticed a lot of the time. Um, I won the Jack Petchy Award because of my contribution to the music department and also because of first aid, uh, Red Cross first aid programme that we have in the school. I was nominated by the sports, the Miss Logan, she's the head of sports in our school, um, for my participation in sports leadership, it's a certificate. You know, I led the um, team of Bromley and then I've also been doing um, sports leading inside of school. I've been um, mentoring um, a young boy to try and help him get better in using his chair. Um, I'm here for being the chair of Eco Schools Committee. So that's just basically about making QK a more sustainable school. Because in year seven, I was really misbehaving and not doing good. So they said that I made a big step in my life and just changed everything around. I've been recognised for the contribution to community through creating a project for uh, which was called Community Week, which uh, involved a resident coming in to explore our school. And for me, it's basically just helping around in my school and being a prefect, just taking moral responsibility, really. The awards certainly have an impact on the students. They feel very proud. Their parents come back and tell me that the certificates are up on the wall. Yeah, well, my Jack Petty Award, considering it was just like two or three months into my weightlifting career, it just made like it let me know that somebody believed in me from a young age, and I thought that was it was a huge help because it motivated me, and it, like that's kind of like my motivation is what some um, caused me to have success today, really. So before I didn't really realise that the school recognised what I. Do and now they do. I know that the school supports me and that they um, will always recognise my achievements. So it it really has encouraged me to work harder. Everyone knew about it, and I told my sister Jack Petchy really got Jack Petchy. What we hope is that as we celebrate with each of the winners, we hope that that their success story will be an inspiration to others. And for, some, for students who perhaps have never been involved in any community work, it means it opens up a whole sort of world out there that they perhaps weren't aware of. And also becomes, it comes from um, students and peers as well. So it's kind of like it's coming from the people around you. I think it's definitely helpful that students nominate other students because they're the people who see you every day. We see it as a scheme that the students have ownership of and it's probably the only reward scheme that our students do have ownership of. And we're never short of nominations, which is really good news. I won £200 and I decided to spend it on the music department. Um, you, I got £200 to, and I used it on sports, the football. We've had a whole range, camcorders, cameras, sports equipment. Um, some of them have brought plants for our petri garden and equipment for our greenhouse. Everyone goes, Oh, Anthony, I heard you use your money to buy the corner flags on the, on the goalpost. I'm like, yeah, that was me. I would like to spend it on science equipment. We've just recently set up this drama group, which is hoping to do some tours with a, with a show. Um, but we don't have any money for like transport and accommodation. So it'd be really good to spend some money on that. We all kind of agreed to pay for a professional flautist to come in and give us a masterclass. So. Um, I did this because I wanted to give something back to the department which obviously works so hard to give me things to, that I enjoy and I wanted um, all the flute players in the school to be able to benefit. I think one of the areas that we, we get particularly excited about is the leader of the year award as well and that's again all staff and students are involved. and. And what the award, the, the, the Jack Petchy scheme has shown us is just how many exceptional leaders we have in school as well as exceptional students. Um, and when we, it gives us time to stop and think about what some of us, our staff are doing, unpaid, voluntary, outside the normal sort of um, school curriculum to actually inspire young people. Mm -hmm.